bright duty every student matters so my dear students let us move on to the discussion of the back exercises now okay which of the following words describe the frailty of the old folks frail weak okay so what of these words basically describe that the old folks when the person becomes old they become very weak it is wobble wobble something which is shaking something which does not uh, you know have the capability to be static and rigid that is wobble which line from the poem indicates that old folks are not self conscious so what is the line that tells us that the old people once they become old they do not care about anything that is there around them when old folks laugh they free the world as i told you this is very important so they don't care about what the other people think about them what is the meaning of the word promise in the poem so what is the promise that the poem uh, you know the poetess talks about as i told you that death is inevitable it is going to come to you no matter what what is the purpose of full stop used in the lines winding the lines between their brows old folks allow their bellies to jiggle so what does yes it simply says that the old people you know the time when the old people used to think about what the other people would think about them you know caring about others such time is over now why does the poet describe death as dear so why does it describe death as dear because obviously here the poet was addressing death as i told you the poet was requesting death to come to them in a painless manner so that is why since it was addressing it was talking to death that is why the word dear is used here okay so saliva glistens in the corners of their mouths their heads wobble on brittle necks but their laps are filled with memories who is being addressed in this poem so who is being talked about in this poem the old people are being talked about in this poem what is the attitude of old people when they laugh so when they laugh as we have just read they are carefree now they their laughter is infectious their laughter is contagious and it spreads to all the people around them because it is very natural it is very free What does the poet mean by their laps are filled with memories their laps are filled with memories means that by the time they grow old they have a bag full of happy memories of loving days that they can think of and it is those memories it is those days that brings a natural smile on their faces When old pe- uh, folks love they consider the promise of dear painless death and generously forgive life for happening to them What makes the old people want to forgive life so why do the old people want to forgive life because they have seen it all they have seen the good days they have seen the bad days and when they are so near to death they do not wish to take with them anything negative anything wrong and they just want to go very happily and since they just want to leave behind all the sadness and all the worries that is why they are ready to forgive life for all the wrong things that it has given to them why do they think about death because as it has been mentioned in the poem and as i have told you as well death is something which is inevitable they know that death is going to come their way sooner or later and that is why they are thinking about it what quality of the old people does the poet talk about in these lines so the poet is simply talking about the big the kind heart the generous heart that the old people have the heart is so much full of love is so forgiving in nature that irrespective of whatever problems the life has given to them the old people are ready to just forgive life 
and to go from this world happily. When and why do the old people pretend? So when do the old people fake a smile? When they are worried, when they have a, you know, a wink, when there is a windling on their brow, so when they have lines on their forehead, when they are worried, when they are not happy with something, so they have to put up a fake smile on their faces. What kind of an impression would they make on others when they laugh loudly? As I have told you, when the old people laugh out loud, there is a word in English which we use. I have written it, you know, on the first page as well, which is guffaw. So, when the old people laugh out loud, since that laughter comes from the heart, since that laughter is so natural and it is so pure, it spreads, it is infectious and everyone around the old people start laughing with them. What do we know about the old people? So, what do we know about the old people? We have learned from this poem that the old people also have their, uh, you know, uh, worries. They also have their tensions in life. But they know how to put up a fake smile to show it to the world. Moreover, when the old people laugh, their laughter is so natural and it is so from the heart that it spreads across. The old people are very carefree and it does not bother them. It does not affect them how the other people think of them. Moreover, it is in their old age when they accept death and they actually address death and request it to come to them painlessly. What is the main idea portrayed in the poem? As I have already told you, it is more or less the same that I just narrated. So, the main idea in the poem is the fact that the laugh of the old people is very pure. It is from within the heart. It is infectious. The old people have also been through their problems in lives. They have also been through their, uh, you know, their uh, share of worries but they have learned how to grow you know to grow up from everything they have learned how to forgive life they have learned how to not care for the world not care for the people and to put up the best smile and laughter on their faces and the main idea of this poem is also about the fact that death is inevitable, that everybody is bound to die one day and the best thing for everyone would be to accept it when it comes rather than crying over it, to accept it and to forgive all the problems in lives when you grow. You know, when you grow old and when you are on the last stage of your life, you just should let go of all the negativity and all the worries from your mind as well as from your heart. So with this, my dear students, we come to the end of this poem. The poem has been explained to you. Every line, every expression has been explained to you well. And the back exercises have also been discussed. So I hope the poem is clear to you. I shall see you all now in my next lecture.